Hi, this is Mike Montefusco, Senior Meteorologist and Marine Program Leader for the National Weather Service in Wakefield, Virginia. And I wanted to take a few moments to talk to you about our wave detail experiment that we'll be undertaking this coming summer. This project began in consultation with our colleagues down at the National Weather Service in Wilmington, North Carolina, earlier on this year, and comes in response to feedback we've received from marine users for quite a few years. Before we get into the specifics of the proposal, let's talk about the basics of the, um, of the project. We need to keep in mind that waves have three fundamental variables, uh, that is height, period, and direction. Wave height generally refers to how tall a wave is from the trough to the crest. The wave direction is the direction for which the wave is moving from. And on a basic level, the wave period is the time it takes for successive waves to pass through a fixed point, such as a buoy. However, a lot more goes into period. Uh, specifically, it gets into how fast the waves move, how deep they extend into the ocean, and how much energy they contain. This, in turn, can influence the uh, size of the waves uh, and breaking waves at the coast, and how much energy is in those waves as they get into uh, inlets or, uh, or jetties along the immediate coast. It's very common to have coexisting waves at any point in the ocean, and each of those specific wave groups can be of interest to particular mariners. Uh, at the present time, we're only providing significant wave height, which is uh, significant wave height is the average height of the highest one third of waves at a particular point. And this is very important and a fundamental variable uh, in which we've based our marine forecast. Uh, for many years, uh, and it's basically a good way to gauge the current sea state and the accuracy of the present marine forecast. Uh, and this is something that mariners have come to expect and rely upon uh, in their marine forecast. However, in relaying the significant wave, uh, wave height, we are uh, not providing the specific wave detail that some users really need for their specific purposes. Let's look at a very common occurrence on the waters in the respect of several different wave groups uh, impacting the sailboat. Uh, now these waves are coming from several different directions, uh, producing a very confused sea state. Now this is quite common in the spring uh, and summer months and even into the fall uh, when we see short period waves, uh, particularly from uh, in the wake of strong cold fronts when we have a northeast wind or an easterly wind. Uh, where we have longer period uh, south uh, easterly or even easterly swell from distant storms out in the out into the Atlantic or the uh, Bermuda High offshore, uh, these multiple groups of waves can create difficult navigation, especially for for some smaller crafts, and can really make navigation difficult. In undertaking this project, we're seeking to give the uh, our marine users all of the information they need at the beginning of their journey so that they have all that information before they head out onto the water. So let's look at the details of the proposal itself. Uh, I'll importantly note that this wave detail uh, experiment will only be used on our coastal water zones, uh, so for the open ocean zones only. Uh, once you get into the Chesapeake Bay, the rivers of eastern Virginia, and the Currituck Sound, uh, there are a lot of different uh, extra factors at play that can make the sea state a little bit more convoluted. Uh, so as a result of that, we're only going to be using this on the open ocean zones. So if you break out the winds uh, and the sea state, you'll be talking about seas five to seven feet. But we will also, as part of this experiment, be breaking out the different wave groups, in this case, a northeast uh, wave group from the from the northeast, uh, six feet at six seconds, with a separate southeast wave coming in at four feet at 15 seconds. In this way, we're hoping to give our marine users all the information they need before they head out onto the water so they can make the decisions they need to make. You'll be able to view the product in real time as we uh, experiment with it this coming summer at the following web address uh, you see on your screen. Now we are going to be seeking feedback on this project for the next several months and we encourage our marine users 
to send us comments and questions to akq-report at noaa.gov. And we ask that you put the wave detail experiment in the subject line. Uh, we really, uh, really strive to provide the best marine forecast we can for our marine users, and we're always seeking uh, ways to improve that forecast. So we very much appreciate any feedback you can provide us, and we hope that we can work together to make our marine forecast as good as it can be. Thanks very much for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon.